Hey everybody, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you to create a cool sports poster inspired photo effect. This combines elements of the color splash effect and an a airbrushing look that will give you your final results. So this works well on action photos of like basketball or soccer or even like a car driving it could work. It just brings your focal point out. So to begin, the first thing you want to do is open up your image in Photoshop and then right click on your layer and duplicate your original layer. So on this duplicated layer we're going to grab our quick selection tool right here. If you don't see it just hold on if it's the magic wand tool just hold the mouse on it until you get the drop down menu and then with the addition sign here and a brush size of about, I'm going to use 20, but you can use whatever works for your image. The bigger the focal point, the bigger the brush. Make sure sample all layers is not checked and just make a selection. It doesn't have to be exact for this effect. So Photoshop is pretty good at finding the boundaries for anything that it overdoes like in between the legs there you just grab the minus tool you can lower the brush size a bit and then work on those areas that you missed but once you have a pretty good outline like so of your main focal point you want to go to refine edge here so this will show you what you have now it looks kind of rough but if you just smoothen some of the edges here you can increase the feather a little bit shift the edge outward to grab some of that stuff you missed it really does not need to be exact for this effect you can also brush in the areas that you want to fill in a little bit and Photoshop will automatically do that for you you hit OK so now I have a selection here so you want to go to layer layer mask reveal selection So what we did was we created a layer mask. Now everything underneath the layer will show up. So we go to our original layer and we go to image, adjustments, desaturate. You can also use the shortcut shift command U. So that'll create that color isolation effect. And if I click on my layer mask here, I can grab my paintbrush tool grab a normal sized brush if you don't see this click this drop down arrow and hit reset brushes and select OK I'm going to grab a normal soft brush if I paint black which you can reset the colors by clicking on this black and white checker if I paint black it'll hide the areas that I don't want colored like the rim there and if I paint white it'll fill in some of those areas that I do want colored for example some parts of the shorts that were missed it really doesn't need to be exact because the eye can't distinguish it that well it's supposed to be a kind of dreamy looking effect so now once you have this main portion of the image done you want to duplicate this layer by right click and duplicate and select OK and you want to set this layer to overlay you also want to click on the actual image here not the layer mask and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and just use something of about three pixels that's a totally optional step it just gives you 
a little bit more of an airbrushed look. Also, if I click my original or my middle image, which is the original duplication, and I grab the smudge tool here and set it to about a strength of 15 to 20 percent, a size of about well the size is going to vary so let's start with a size of about 25 again I'm using my bracket keys on my keyboard to increase and decrease the brush size I'm going to smudge the skin to give it the airbrushed look and I'm going to go in patterns of movement that are similar to what I'm smudging. So I'm not just going to go zigzags or side to side. I'm going to keep it even. And then I can lower the brush size on smaller areas. And that'll give it a nice hand done look instead of looking like just a big smudgy mess. You can even do some of the details like the shorts. It really just gives it a small kind of cartoony look which is popular with this effect so you notice I'm working in small areas you don't want to go overboard on areas like the face and make it unrecognizable so once you're satisfied with the effect uh, you can add some final touches. For example, I'm going to go to my original layer, go to Filter, Lens Correction. It'll open up the Lens Correction menu. And if I click the Custom tab, I can slide the vignette slider down a bit. That'll create a little bit of a vignette, which will increase the focus on the main focal point. I can also blur the background layer a little bit with filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You could also do a motion blur if you like. But I'm just going to use a small radius of about one pixel. It'll look better for some photos than others. With this one, it's kind of creating a weird depth of field. So I'm not even going to do that much. And then I'm going to add some filter, noise, and then you click add noise. I like to just add a small amount. Just gives it that grainy look. And then lastly, I'm going to go to my layer mask by selecting the layer mask there that we made first and just work on some final touches. So if I paint black, it'll hide some areas that I don't want the color to shine through, like the netting here. And again, I'm using the bracket tool to decrease my brush size. Also, the other player's jersey here is a little bit colored in. I don't want that. And then lastly, I'm going to grab my blur tool, which is under the smudge tool, and blur that layer mask that I just did a little bit by the net so you can't tell that it's hand painted. So of course you can work on the details as long as you want. The longer you work on the details the more perfect your final image will be. And of course you can add as many finishing touches as you want. But this is the main effect. So this is your cool sports poster inspired photo effect. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all your support. If you like this video please hit the like, comment on what you want to see next or if you have any problems. And thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. Until next time.